So, good evening guys. Sa kasalukuyan po ay 10.36pm ng gabi. So, inantap na ba kayo? Kasi ako hindi pa. So, yun. Then, guys, um, to, for this video tutorial, we're going to talk about logical um, X um, operator. So, ano nga ba yun? So, pero mamaya na yan, guys. Um, may gusto lang akong sabihin sa inyo about doon sa mga previous lessons natin. Kasi nakalimut ako. Kasi pasensya na. Pasensya na. So, yun. That. Wait lang, guys. Pero, you can not, you can, pwede naman, guys, na wag din natin akong sundin. So, pwede nyo, makinig na lang kayo. Pero, kung gusto nyo akong sundin, okay lang. So, di ba, guys, remember when I told you, guys, na pag-declare ng variable, ganang ganito, Lalayin yan. Tandaan nyo guys, you can only declare variables na ganito ang yung itsura niya. Pero, for the for the same data type lang. So, what I mean is, hindi nyo, hindi nyo ito pwedeng gawin. For example, integer A, comma, character B, comma. Um, so, hindi. That's not, uh, syntax error yan. Hindi yan. Mali yan. So, yun. Um, di, yun di yun pwede. So, kung gusto nyo mag-declare ng variable na yung pangmadalian, for pwede naman to na, for example, character, um, character let is equal to, for example, C, comma, separated lang by comma, and character alpha is equal to A, parang ganyan. Plus then, for so pinakalas, of course, the semicolon. So, yun lang naman, guys. So, By the way, comment out ko nga pala if kung gusto niya at least may guide kayo. So, wala lang. So, at saka, di ba guys, sa uh, if else statements, may pinagkasapan tayo yung equal-equal. So, for example lang, um, if x, oh, wala yun, x is equal to 10, 2, let's make it 2, print f, yes, it is equal to 2 else print f no shortcut natin guys kasi para wag na magsayang ng oras so yun di ba guys ang ibig sabihin nito is tinacheck niya if equal nga yung value ng x to this one to this one which is 2 so tandaan nyo guys baka sa inyo well, maybe karamihan sa inyo or some of you tinay yung ganyan or x is equal to so this is wrong guys malito hindi yan tama so you only do this guys the single yung isa lang ang equal sign when you are doing some for example assignment statement Gan like ganito guys this is an example of an assignment assignment statement so ayan iba guys magkaiba to this is this is used for the para sa if condition para i-check Check natin kung equal nga ang ang x sa specific number na to. So, don't do it guys. So, huwag nyo yun gawin ha. So, pareho din dito na ganyan kasi magkaiba sila. So, yun lang naman. So, thank you. Thank you so thank you so much guys. So, yun. Let's proceed na to this logical operator. So, remember when I talked about you sa if else yung operation na greater than or equal and I mean, that's done. Then, greater than or equal. Kasi, guys, um, it's better na you know about this, the logic operator. So, yun. Let's proceed about it. Let's proceed to it. <laughs> so, ano nga ba yan na itong end, and operator. Ibig sabihin nito, guys, ay and. Yun, ito lang yung symbol para sa C. So, ano nga ba yan ng and? Um, for example, guys, um, ang and kasi, um, it's like, You have two two statements. Once na nag-false ang isa, false na yung whole statement. Ganyan po nag-work ang and. And and or end, you can pronounce it either way. So and then or operator naman, this symbol in C or any other programming language, the or operator naman is when you have two two statement statements or kahit ilan pa yan, at uh, halos lahat sa kanila ay false at saka pero may isang true true na ang lahat ng statements sa or yan guys sa or example guys um, today is January 22, 2018 and and muna tayo and guapo 
ako. So, ano ba to guys? This statement is true. True ang statement na yan. And this statement is also true. <laughs> true yan guys. Naniwala kayo sa akin. So, um, so, true and true. This is true. The, this statement is true. So, and we use the end operator. Sabi ko nga sa inyo guys, once sa may nag-false na isa, false ng lahat ng statement. Pero walang nag-false. So, the whole statement will be true. So, paano guys kung nag-false to? Which is, hindi. Guwapo ako talaga. So, just, just assume na false yan. Then, true and false, it is false. Kasi nga guys, ulitin ko, kahit ilan pa yan na statements, kahit mag-million statements pa yan, statements, 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 sa and operator, once na halos lahat true, at may kahit may isang nag-false, false na yan lahat. Ganyan guys, nag-work ang and. And let's go naman sa or. For example, sa or is, for example, is today is, January 22, 2018, 2018, or, for example, um, dog has 10 legs. Tama ba yan? So, this statement is true. True ang statement na yan. And this statement is false. So, guys, true or false, it is true. True. Sabi ko sa inyo, parang halos ang, ang or lang naman is, parang opposite lang naman ng, ng hindi naman tagas totally opposite, pero you can think of it like that way naman, pwede naman. So, once sa or kasi, kahit na, just imagine guys, um, sa or kasi, kahit ilang statements pa yan, halos lahat false, once na may nag-true, true na yan. True na ang buong statement. So, paano kung false, uh, false to? So, syempre, false rin ang buong statement kasi false, false pareho false. And what if kung pareho nag-true, so, yun. Pero, what if kung true to, true, at saka true rin to, syempre, true ang buong statement kasi lahat sila true. Yun lang naman guys, ang, ang, parang, yun lang naman ang kailangan yung bantayan pag nagkakaiba sila. For example nga, pag nag-false to, syempre, false, I mean, true ang buong statement. Sa or operator yan guys, sa or, log this is what you call guys the and or the logical operator so, yun guys um, ganun lang naman po kasimple and I hope sana naintindihan nyo guys yung sinabi ko and you can look it naman dito guys for ano, basta guys um, practice makes perfect guys um, to, I'm here guys to teach you the basics and kasi when you learn the basics guys kaya kaya nyo na yan pag, pagdating ng mga advanced stuffs. So, sana guys, naintindihan nyo ako and hopefully, and so, thank you guys. Um, see you in the next tutorial. Salamat!